Hey, what's up guys? It's Chris here. We'll go back to a brand new video. This video, we're going to be talking about Saw X. It'll be a spoiler-free uh, movie review. So if you haven't seen the film, please do not watch this. I might have a uh, spoiler review out soon also. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get right into it. So yeah, Saw X. I saw it this past Thursday. Um, I haven't been able to, um, make a video on this just because of work and stuff, but I'm, I'm so excited to finally talk about it. Um, to me, it, it was so good. I loved it. It felt, it felt like the old Saw movies, you know, the Saw through Saw 3D. It felt like those kind of Saws, not Jigsaw or Spiral. It brought us back to, you know, the good old day, good old days with the Saw movies. Um, the relationship between John and Amanda is strong as ever. You can just tell they love being back on screen together. Their chemistry is just so good. Um, now, you, you have to remember that this does take place between the first and second Saw movies, so... Amanda is kind of, she's younger, you know, she plays a younger self, but she looks older, just letting you know. Um, the traps, I loved all the traps. Um, some of them, I don't know, some of them just seemed like they're kind of unfair. And I'm going to be making a video on that too, so look forward to that. But yeah, the traps, I did like all the traps, so I thought the, it was really good. Um, you know, just seeing John back, it was just awesome. The story, the whole story of this movie is great. I love it because it, it's basically, it came from like a throwaway line from Saw 6. If you remember, um, John went to go see uh, William Eastman and he talked about there was a doctor in Norway that it hasn't done anything, you know, like this before w regarding you know the cancer and stuff and in this movie it is the, the doctor that John was talking about in the Saw 6 it's, it, it's his daughter so, so the blonde woman that you see throughout the trailer that is the daughter of the doctor that John was talking about in Saw 6 so I think that was amazing that they tied that together too um yeah just overall I <laughs> I gave I have a letterbox, and I gave it a nine nine and a half out of ten just because it was it was awesome. I loved it. I've seen people online say they didn't like it. Um, regarding the twist, I will say the twist was kind of easy to um, pick out throughout the movie. You could tell what the twist would was going to be, but it was still great. You know, with all that. The Hello Zep music um, playing, and it was just awesome to hear. Um, yeah, the you're actually rooting for John this time. Like he's actually the good guy in this movie, so you're rooting for him and Amanda. That's just crazy to think about. And also, please stick around after the movie. There is a after credit scene. Um, it's not after like the all the credits is after like the little credits they show right after the movie so stay you everyone will love this post credit scene that's all I'll say I'll make a video on that as well but yeah this is this has to be in my top three Saw movies it's just it's awesome it's great I just love it the music the the I don't know it's just awesome but uh yeah that's all I got for you guys today I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please like, share, subscribe, comment down below for more Saw content. And let me know down in the comments below what you guys thought of the movie. Did you guys like it? Did you guys not like it? And if you didn't like it, let me know. Like, tell me why you didn't like it in the comments. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll, I hope you guys have a good day. Peace.